Hey guys, it's the Zoo Tycooner, and for once we are actually uh, playing Zoo Tycoon. Um, I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't played this game in a long time, and you guys haven't seen a video in a long time of it. Um, so I thought it would be fun to start an actual Let's Play and build a zoo live for you guys. Well, kind of live, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, let's see. I've got um, a basic outline already started for an exhibit. Um, this will be a desert zoo, and it also has some scrub around, so it'll be kind of a mix. I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of this or not. Um, I might just paint it over with entirely desert, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Anyways, this is going to be a rhino exhibit, I think, and um, I'm not sure what rhino I'd like to use. We have three options, um, Indian rhino, black rhino, and white rhino. The white rhino doesn't look too great, though because <clears throat> it hasn't gotten a reskin yet. It just looks like that. But, um... I don't know. It matches the fence really well. The only thing about the other rhi uh, <clears throat> rhinos, sorry, is that their skin is such high texture, um, it makes the fence look bad. So I think I might use this rhino, um, just for the sake of making everything uh, flow really nicely and look good together. So let's go ahead and stick a couple in here. And let's see, what should we... I think we should start off with some basic grass. Uh, I believe this is what I want. Yep, marum grass. Uh, this is one of my favorite grasses to use in the desert, just because it goes really well, the color and everything. So let's see. I'm thinking I want their shelter to be over here somewhere. Um, Alright, I think I want to have some like overgrown, a lot of foliage over in this area. So let's go ahead and place this. Eh, that's too much. <laughs> Already too much. Let's just start again, shall we? <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's see. Um, this corner right here, I'm not sure exactly where I want to put things. Like, I've got nothing planned out. I'm just doing this on the fly. Um, but yeah, let's see. This corner here would be really good for a shelter or a feeding area. So how does how does this look? This might work really well. It fits really nicely into that corner. Um, I like that actually a lot. Yeah, let's keep that, shall we? Okay, and I think I want some foliage right next to it to block it from view of guests so the rhinos get a little bit of privacy when they want to rest in there. Oh man, this is all really green and... There we go. I like this darker color a lot better. Um, well, not a lot better, but it's my favorite shade of that grass. Alright. Oh man. <laughs> it's gonna take a while if I'm that picky about just the color, so I might skip on details like that for now and just change it up later uh, off camera because I don't want to bore you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and stick a tree there. <clears throat> One really important thing to remember um, when it comes to building in this game is that you don't have to stick with one biome when it comes to decorating. Like, this is going to be a desert zoo, but I'm going to take plants from like probably the savanna biome, um, the coastal biome like I did with this. Um, as long as the trees and plants um, make sense for the most part and they match the biome theme, then feel free to use it because you can make some really cool stuff uh, that way. Alright, so I'm thinking this area over here would be good for a... Hmm. Actually, I was going to say it would be really good over here for a large watering hole. But um, I was imagining the guests and viewing area being over here. And I'm thinking the watering hole should probably be with, uh, in sight of where the guests are, so I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and put, place a path down right over here and see if I like it. And I wonder what I should have over here. Maybe just a sitting area behind the, the rhino shelter. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, actually, this could be kind of a, a cute little 
cute little area to sit down. We can have like foliage in here, um, <clears throat> separating the exhibit a little bit more from the path. All right, I like this. This is pretty cool. Um, all right, we'll leave this bit for later, I think. Let's go ahead and place more of this grass down. There's no way I'm going to be able to f do every single detail <coughs> um, on camera with you guys, because that would just be mental. That would take forever, and it would bore you, because <laughs> what I was doing earlier is what I would be doing. I'd just be placing and replacing this grass to get the right color I wanted and everything. So, take care of that later. I'll just place it, place it down quickly here. Okay, so I think I'm good with that for now. Um, for the path... What I normally like to do is raise it up a little bit from the level of the exhibit, because then um, it just adds a little bit more depth to things, a little bit more interest, um, variation in height, like it would be in real life. And also, um, it lets you see into the exhibit a little bit better, because most of the fences have... Uh, part of the fence is at eye level, which kind of obs obscures your vision into the exhibit. So I like I like this, how it's raised a little bit. Let you see a bit easier. Alright, so let's go ahead and do more of the actual exhibit. So what I'm gonna do this is how I usually start off um, decorating the exhibit just to get an image in my head of how I would like it to be is I'll paint it all the base color which is over here on the right all the time, um, grass or sand in this case. And then I'll take the dirt and I'll paint the areas that the animals would normally be roaming um, a lot because that's where dirt would be found and less foliage because it would get trampled. So this is the main large area where they would be hanging out. So let's go ahead and make a, l a lot of dirt, large dirt area. Uh, make it a little bit random. And let's make a couple of pathways here where the rhinos would be interacting with the people. And then I think I will stick the watering hole here just for now. We might change it later. Uh, let's see. Nah, I don't like that shape. How's that? Ooh, that's bright. Until you get closer anyways. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's put some more plants around it. Because otherwise the water looks horrible without any plants. Because like you just saw, <laughs> it gets super bright and it's just obnoxious. So, put some more plants around. Let's have a bit more right here. And... More dirt leading out of, out of the shelter. Because obviously they'd be traveling in and out of that a lot. And he pooped already. Where? I do not see the feces. Where are the feces? Oh, I think they got deleted because I painted water or something. That's interesting. Yep. I did not know you could do that. And I've been playing Zoo Tycoon for years. Okay, that's good. Now it's actually a little bit big, but that's okay. I'm alright with a big watering hole. They would need it in a desert. Alright, more plants, more plants. Plant plant. What kind of entertainment should we give them? I quite like the tire. It's one of the less obnoxious, not so colorful toys like, like that one is. I never use that. Um, a salt lick would be pretty cool. Let's give him a salt lick. Uh, hmm. Where should we put it? Right there, I guess. That's fine. And a scratching post. Unfortunately, they can't actually use this as a scratching post. I don't think it functions as one. At least, I've never seen an animal using it before. But let's stick this somewhere. 
I kind of like it being right here. It means less privacy for the rhinos um, while they're using it, but it would be a good, uh, good view for the guests from the path right up close. So They would get to see the rhinos scratching their bums all day long. All right, let's paint. Whoops! Ooh, wrong one. That didn't work as planned. Did that mess with the? No, it didn't. Oh, yes, it did a little bit. <coughs> Placing water and then removing it messes with the height of the train a little bit. Okay, dirt. Dirt is what I wanted. There we go. Okay, um, I'm thinking we need to find some more small plants <coughs> to place here. Uh, ooh, this is really nice. I like this one. It's got high texture detail <coughs> compared to the rest. Um, that's one of the things that I find pretty hard to balance sometimes, because, I mean, there's a huge range of downloads that you can get from that have been made by fans of the game, um, but they're all of varying quality, so it takes a little bit of patience to sift through them and pick what actually goes really well together. Uh, let's see, where should I put this? Over here, I think, where it's a little bit, the ground is a little bit less used and it's more overgrown. Uh, it's not too bad. Let's see if there's something without such bright green <coughs> leaves, though. Nope, don't like that. Oh yeah, rocks. Rocks is what we need. All right, definitely want to have that there. <clears throat> Semi desert and let's go ahead and stick this like that. Actually, put that here. And I'm thinking of log of some sort next to it. Where would that be located? Boreal, maybe? Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Cool, I like that. That's not bad at all. Okay, um, clean this up. Wash, wash. Oh, I haven't given them, given them any food, have I? They are probably starving. Yep. What's this about? Ah, uh, biome. Okay. Their biome is pressing, but we don't care too much about that, do we? They don't have to be comfortable. Things just have to look pretty. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the mindset of a lot of zoos. Which is why going to actual zoos is really depressing, usually. Okay, where do we want to have their food? I like the idea of a rock trowel. And a feeding area that's visible is probably the best idea. What about over here? Maybe that's good. And they've got their pond for drinking, so I don't think I need to give them a separate drinking uh, drinking device. How's that? I like that. Okay. Good, okay. That's sorted. Now, what else do we need? We need more rocks, I think. Go with bog again. One large rock pile in the middle. How do we feel about that? That makes it look really, the exhibit look really crowded. Let's just stick with small, I think. There we go. Small rock there. Small rock there. There. <coughs> that looks terrible. Um. More logs, I'm thinking, except this time we need some that lay across the ground. For that, I usually use temperate. For these, that's not too bad, actually. I was Usually, or not usually, but sometimes, um, these logs look a little too funky for an exhibit compared to this one. Like, it looks less realistic just because it's more uh, wonky-shaped. But it can work if you get the right uh, shade. Because if you look here, there's different color varia variations. 
but this one looks okay. So we'll keep it like that. And maybe stick another... That one's darker, so it looks wet, so maybe we can put it over here by the, uh, the water. We can put it in the water, actually. Yeah, that works. Just stick it right there. Why not? Okay, I like this. I like that a lot. Let's stick this... Hmm, how do we want this? kind of like it just like this. It almost creates like a little archway tunnel thing through here for them to walk under. And then, what else do we want? Ooh, I should probably save, shouldn't I? If this crashed, that would be awful. Okay. So that's good. Clean up the feces once more. Wash, wash. You know what? Let's try a different um, biome for the water. Because I don't like how bright that is. So let's go with Savannah and do this. Ooh, do I like that? The watercolor looks... Yeah, you know what? I love this a lot better. I was iffy for a second because of the shade of the ground around it that it turned because it doesn't match anything else here. Um, or rather, it does match, but at first it didn't seem like it because like, there's no other... The specific color isn't anywhere else in the exhibit, but that's okay. I like it. Okay. That was, took <laughs> way too much rambling. Alright, so this looks really empty right here, so maybe... Let's see if there's anything else we can fill it with. I wonder if there's another structure we can put there. Okay, we do want a tire for them. Stick that there. Oh, barrels! That's what we need. There's the perfect barrel statues in here. Where are they? Here we go. Cool. I love these. Alright. That. That. This. And what else is there here? There's so many options, I forget exactly what I have to work with sometimes. That could be interesting. Maybe I could use this on the path or something. Yeah, I think that works well for the this particular exhibit. But let's not do that right now. Let's see what else there is to decorate the exhibit with. Sandbags? Nah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm actually wondering if I like these barrels now, because now there's a lot of contrasting uh, colors, like we've got white here, dark brown here, sand color, um, I don't know if that looks good. What do you guys think? If you guys think I'm overthinking this, you're probably right. I overthink everything. Let's move these together a little bit more, I think. <laughs> At this rate, I think we're probably only going to get through one uh, exhibit per episode. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, I like it like that. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end the episode for here. Um, any further details I do, I'm probably going to do off-camera and show in my next episode. Um, just because I'm starting to kind of slow down here and I'm not sure what else to put. But I'd like to experiment a little bit more and add some more finishing touches to it. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys like the idea of um, me doing this Let's Play. So, like I said earlier, I don't have anything planned for the rest of the zoo. No animals, particular animals in mind. Um, so if you want to suggest something that you'd like to see in the zoo, uh, please leave a comment. Um, I'd love for this to be as interactive as possible. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next episode, I guess. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.